Hello people. In this video, let us look at the clinical features of rheumatoid arthritis. We are looking at the arthritis features. We are not looking at the extra articular features. See, even extra articular manifestations are there. Okay. But those are um, covered in a separate video. Lot of extra articular systemic manifestations are there. We will be covering only, only what? Articular manifestations in this video. See, uh, some things you should know is uh, it is symmetrically affecting uh, the joints. Okay. So you can see here. Uh, the joints are swollen or they are tendered symmetrically. If this is affected, this is affected right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Okay. So basically there is um, symmetrical involvement of joints. Okay. What will be there? Joint tenderness and joint uh, swelling. Okay. It can be swell, swollen or tender and it will be symmetrical. Okay. Early morning stiffness these people will have. Early morning stiffness these people will have okay then what else will be there polyarthritis that means many joints are involved obviously we told you right polyarthritis they can have pitting edema right then they'll have relapse remission relapsing relapse they will have remission they will have okay then <clears throat> look at this they will have ulnar deviation of the fingers these are some deformities that you'll have to see see the uh, wrist is deviated to the radial side but the fingers are deviated to the ulnar side so this is very typical of uh, rheumatoid arthritis and it is symmetrical on both sides you can see right so what you are seeing here the wrist is deviated to the radial side the uh, fingers are deviated to the ulnar side see here right so this is what you should understand rheumatoid arthritis ulnar deviation of fingers and then there is one more thing swan neck deformity see here in this photo here, you can see the swan neck kind of a, you can see the neck, neck, swan neck kind of a deformity here uh, of the finger. This is again, uh, what will you say? Rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. So all this you will say, what is this? <clears throat> Ulnar deviation of finger, radial deviation of wrist, swan neck deformity of finger then thumb also they are saying deformity some z deformity of thumb buttonhole deformity and z deformity of thumb how is this a button button near button near or buttonhole deformity they are saying okay then um, what exactly is the deformity so this uh, button button ear finger actually they are saying it's the same thing okay it is a flexion at the proximal interphalangeal joint and hyperextension at the distal interphalangeal joint okay so they are saying it is boutonniere finger okay then there is one more z deformity of thumb z deformity of thumb so hand itself just looking at the hand itself you'll be able to say so many things okay about rheumatoid arthritis right then Trigger finger because of the nodules in the tendons uh, sheath, flexor tendon sheath. Look at the nodules here. So many nodules these people have, right? Because of that. So this is all about the hand people. Now let's go on. Look at this cock up deformity of the toes. This actually looks like the way the birds keep their leg, right? To toes. Look at the toes. Cock up deformity. <clears throat> they'll be cause, uh, they're, they're causing pain on the weight bearing. On the exposed MTP heads and the development of secondary adventitious bursa and callocytes. Okay. So subluxation of the MTP joints of the feet may result in cock up toe deformities. So there will be cock up toe deformity due to subluxation. Subluxation of MTP joints. MTP joints of feet. Metatarsalophalangeal joints. Right. <clears throat> then, what else you will see in the leg itself? <clears throat> hind foot, hind foot valgus deformity of calcaneus, valgus deformity of calcaneus. Let's see if we can find a photo for this. So this is the calca valgus deformity of calcaneus. Okay. <clears throat> this can happen then what else can happen so many things can happen why does this happen flat foot they can it can result in flat foot pest planus for these people because of rupture of the tibia, tibialis posterior tendon flat foot 
बिकॉज रपच्चर ऑफ द टिबियालिस पोस्टीरियर टेंडॉन रपच्चर ऑफ टिबियालिस पोस्टीरियर टेंडॉन ओके बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फ्लैट फुट देन यू हैव पॉपलीटियल बेकर सिस्ट पॉपलीटियल सिस्ट और बेकर सिस्ट सेकेंड इन द लेग राइट पॉपलीटियल सिस्ट और बेकर सिस्ट दिस इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक टू रोमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस what happens here is the synovial fluid will go and accumulate in the cyst and it cannot return to the joint okay like a valve single uh, direction flow of this synovial fluid will occur to this uh, as baker cyst okay but this is not specific of rheumatoid arthritis remember and if this ruptures there will be pain if rupture then there will be knee calf pain it will seem like dvt okay it will seem like dvt but it is actually rupture of this uh, baker cyst okay so all these uh, you will see in the um, leg right now let us go on to some other features we are looking at what uh, rheumatoid arthritis does to the joints okay so we have seen this uh, in this photo what have they shown nodules and olecranon bursitis they are showing here olecranon bursitis and rheumatoid nodules okay then here they are showing you the atlanto which which joint is this um, subluxation of the cervical spine okay guys this is also very important this is a joint isn't it so basically what will happen here atlanto axial joint because of the subluxation there can be compression of spinal cord okay compression of spinal cord this is like an emergency patients with evidence of spinal cord compression required urgent neurosurgical referral for stabilization and fixation okay this is urgent it is okay it's an urgent condition so especially if people have some new onset headache sudden new onset never had now they are having new onset occipital headache hey occipital means where here right behind so here if they are having pain occipital headache if they are having that it is new onset then you should be very careful about uh, sub, uh, spinal cord compression okay so what will you look out here for new onset Occipital headache. Headache means you will always think something in front. No, this is at the back. So it's very important. It needs urgent care. Okay, you have to uh, stabilize and fix. So what exactly is the problem here? There is a subluxation of the. There is actually what subluxation of the cervical spine at the atlanto. axial joint okay so there will be compression of the spinal cord new onset occipital headache okay so this is all you have to know fine guys of the joints we here we spoke only of the joints right so what and all you saw let's take a recap what are the clinical features of rheumatoid arthritis how does rheumatoid arthritis affect the joints we are only talking about the joint here so basically symmetrically the joints are affected there will be joint tenderness swelling early morning stiffness these people have polyarthritis and there is there can be relapse and remission okay and um, uh, how does it affect the joints we are telling you the ulnar uh, deviation ulnar deviation of the fingers radial deviation of the wrist can occur there can be swan neck deformity of the finger boutonniere um, uh, deformity also z deformity of thumb trigger finger can happen because of the rupture of tendon of the flexor sheath right flexor tendon sheath is there a rupture here no 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 because of nodules nodules in the tendon flexor tendon sheath flexor tendon sheath okay okay then what else you will see here uh, in these people uh, coming to the leg you will see that there is cock up toe deformity because of subluxation of the mtp joints cock up toe deformity then hind foot you will see the valgus deformity of the calcaneus valgus deformity of the calcaneus they'll have flat foot right they can have flat foot and they can have uh, that is the uh, arch of the foot is lost right so uh, then popliteal cyst or baker cyst can be there where the synovial fluid is going and accumulating there but it cannot return to the joint and if this ruptures it will cause calf pain you should not confuse it with uh, dvt that is deep vein thrombosis and uh, this uh, baker cyst is not specific to rheumatoid arthritis so you cannot always declare it as rheumatoid arthritis because on based on baser, baker cyst the other things you can see is uh, olecranon bursitis rheumatoid nodules then um, you will see that there is a compression at the atlanto ox uh, there subluxation of the axial atlanto axial joint this can be 
<clears throat> an urgent uh, condition if there is spinal cord compression if there is new onset occipital headache and all you should be very careful uh, about uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, you have to uh, immediately address this so basically what is happening to the joint the synovitis pannus formation a uh, large villi of synovium you can see thickened synovial membrane necrosis fibrin deposition finally joint destruction okay so weakening rupture of tendons also we told you all this can happen ankylosis fibrous adhesions uh, and etc can happen in this video we did not cover the uh, extra articular manifestations only the articular manifestations of rheumatoid arthritis we have covered okay another video is there for the articular manifestations so these are the extra articular manifestations which we will look at in the next video